Hello and welcome to Euphoria. Today I'm going to have a look at this set and have a chat about buying second-hand Lego. This is set 41004, which as you can see is a Lego Friends set from 2013. It's called Rehearsal Stage and contains this mini doll, which is Stephanie. I'm not particularly into Friends, but I did find this little set quite attractive because of some of the parts that are in it. And as I bought it secondhand and very cheaply, I thought I'd give it a try. There are about 198 parts in this set. And really I bought it for the parts because there are one or two useful pieces in here. Mostly the accessories that come with it, like the speakers, a guitar, a microphone and a piano and lots of friends accessories plus some interesting parts in this makeup area here a little desk and so on and a base plate that i kind of wanted but really i bought this for the parts rather than the set so i'll put this together and see what it looks like before talking about buying second-hand lego So let's open this up. First of all, it doesn't open in the conventional way because somebody's kind of cut around all the edges. But inside are the instructions and a bag of pieces. Obviously, they're not bagged up in the original Lego bags which might be a problem if you were buying a larger set because you wouldn't be able to open them bag by bag and in this case in fact it looks like there should be two bags so we'll have to work out as we go through which pieces we're going to use but it's not too big a set so it's quite easy to follow these instructions I think so I'm going to knoll these which means laying them out in a neat way I can see exactly what I've got and make sure I've got all the parts that I should have with this set. So I won't bore you with it, but I will do that now. So now I've laid out all the parts, I can clearly see whether I have all the parts that are in this set by checking them off against the inventory in the instructions. And I can see that I have got all the parts that go with this set. But also I can clearly see the condition of these parts, check whether they're damaged or whether there's any issues with them. And, for example, I can also clearly see that some of these parts have got considerable discoloration. Particularly these white parts where they've obviously been left in the sun and some sides and some parts of these elements are severely yellowed. And it's not only the white parts. So these purple parts, for example, the top is the right sort of purple colour, but round the edges where it's been exposed, it's quite severely yellowed and is a different and rather dull purple colour. And even some of these blue or aqua parts are okay on one side, but quite badly yellowed on the other side. 
I don't know whether you can see that very easily on the camera here, but I will take some separate pictures to show the yellowing of these parts. It's the same problem for these white parts where some sides are white and some sides are quite yellow. And even this plate has two different colours on it. You can see that some parts are dark purple and some parts are light purple where obviously it's been left in the sun. And these purple plates here are quite different so somehow one of them has been exposed to sunlight and the other one hasn't. So that's not good. Uh, that might be recoverable with some cleaning but probably not. Um, also I can see that for example some of these stickers haven't been applied very well so this is a mirror sticker but you can see it's not really on straight. This mirror sticker not too bad, it's on straight enough but it's maybe not quite central. That one's far too difficult to take off so I shall live with that one. Uh, this white piece otherwise is okay. So at least I know I have all the parts for this set, including the ones that I really bought it for, like this 16x16 16 16 base plate and some of these accessories, which are rather nice. So anyway, I can use these parts to build this set and see what it looks like. So the first part of the assembly builds this dressing table or makeup table with a mirror with lights around it and a drawer for some accessories, a nice pot of flowers and a glass of water. So it's a nice little build if you're into friends and the mirror is quite nice but there's nothing really special about this part of the build. So now we come on to the main part of the build on this 16x16 16 16 plate, which is actually a building plate, not just a base plate. And the speakers are made out of these Technic bricks with these satellite dishes attached in by pushing the stud into the Technic brick. And the tweeters on the top are made in the same way, just by pushing that into there. So that's the background or the proscenium arch of the stage completed and now I can build the revolving part of the stage which fits on the bottom here. A simple representation of a keyboard you could easily change the colors out to make it a more normal kind of keyboard but uh, it's not bad so now this stage part fits onto this turntable piece here with the idea being that I think this can be either the presentation stage or performance stage or if you turn it round some kind of rehearsal room. So there you have the set, it's quite clever in its design 
I'm sure it's got a lot of play value if you're into Friends or into music performance. It does seem a little bit strange to me that on this side you're rehearsing ballet and then on this side you're giving like a musical performance. So this set doesn't really make sense to me but then that isn't why I bought it anyway. Really, I bought it for the parts. The mini doll will stand on here. But again, you've got a mini doll with a guitar, which she can't really hold properly. These mini doll hands don't let you rotate the hands, so she can't really hold the guitar to play it. But never mind, it's a nice guitar that could go in a normal Lego environment as well. So for me, I really just wanted some of the parts from this set. Um, I will dismantle it again. And what I'll do is I'll take off these discolored pieces. You can see they're quite bad, really. And I'll try and clean those up. If they don't clean up, I'll just discard them or keep them for use in something structural where I won't be able to see them. And the purple parts, similarly, not sure what I'll do with those. They're just going to be kind of maybe vaguely useful for structural building. I was aware of the condition of this set before I bought it, so I'm not complaining that it's second hand. Um, it's very useful to know that it's all complete, so I wasn't done out of this set at all and the fact that I didn't have to pay anything for postage and packing because it was a local buy I could just go and collect it made it a very cheap and reasonable purchase and I think the mum that was selling off her Lego was quite happy with the couple of pounds that I gave her for it. So with this set, you've seen the kind of condition you can get when you buy a used or second-hand Lego set. You can also see some of the issues that you can find when buying such a set. I've had mixed experiences buying second-hand Lego, and buying this set has made me think again about whether it's worth it or not. So I'll be doing a separate video about tips for buying used Lego sets. I should have that new video ready soon, so please look out for that. Please like this video if you liked it, and subscribe to this channel to see more videos about Lego.